Okay, well, it's uh, 623 on March 25th, Tuesday. We left uh, Shoshone about 530 in the morning. It was our intent to go there. We just got ready quicker than we usually do, and uh, so we hit the road in total pitch darkness. It's just now light enough to turn the camera on. It's probably about 50 degrees. Uh, everybody's, we're all a little chilly, but uh, getting up to riding temperature, I think we're probably about uh, just under five miles into our day. We decided to, uh, instead of going the Badwater Road route, which would have been about 20 miles further than we're, we're instead of heading up to Death Valley Junction and in uh, that way, just couldn't face another 2,000 foot climb in eight miles. And uh, we really don't, we wanted to get to uh, Furnace Creek as early as possible today to get a camp spot for the night. And the next couple days will be shorter. So, the rest day was great. Had four really big meals. And uh, we're all jazzed up again. So, uh, anyway, uh, talk to you soon. Enjoy the beautiful scenery. Okay, it's uh, 7.16 a.m., uh, so March 25th, obviously. Uh, let's uh, check the thermometer I carry with me. Uh, about 20 minutes ago, it was 43 degrees. The sun has now come over the tops of the mountains, and our spirits uh, and fortunes are soaring now. Everything's starting to thaw out. Uh, coming up on a... Uh, mileage sign here, first one we've seen since we left Shoshone. We're about uh, just under 10 miles into the day. We've taken a lot of uh, rest stops this morning. Uh, all that coffee and orange juice uh, wants to come out faster than usual. I guess it's because it's so cold. Anyway, here's what the Amargosa Valley is looking like. We're riding towards Death Valley Junction. There's the sun coming up. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. In my neighborhood, it's a beautiful day anyway. Nice road. This has been pretty much the uh, road from uh, Baker. Same kind of condition. This is about the worst it's got, and this is pretty good, and it gets really smooth sometimes. This is about the second or third car that's passed us this morning. Probably, I don't know, seven or eight semis have passed us. Anyway, uh, that's it for right now. Let's see if I can take a picture of Claude behind me. Okay, I'm signing off again. Uh, talk to you about an hour or so. There's my shadow. A little bit faster than I am. The sun's really come up now. It's about uh, 737. It's one of the rare cars we've seen today. Neat little mountain up there ahead of us. The road's going to go to the left. Thankfully, we're not going up there. The road continues to amaze. Uh, we're about uh, just over 12 miles into the day now. So, we've got about 200 feet of climbing to do to Death Valley Junction, and then our unproven theory is that it may be downhill into Death Valley. At some point, it will be downhill, but we don't know when. Talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, it's uh, 9.14. Just coming up on the 20 and a half mile mark. Heading northwest right now, elevation about 2146, which puts us about 100 feet above our target elevation in Death Valley Junction. So I assume we're going to start going down hill eventually. So we're about uh, six and a half miles out from Death Valley Junction. We're going to go due west uh, right down to Death Valley. It's cloud up ahead. It's strong, running strong today. We're having a good day, everybody feels strong. No aches and pains. Muscles are working well. Great day. Finally, the sun's uh, gotten up higher in the sky and uh, not freezing to death. 
think my feet finally thawed out about 20 minutes ago. So uh, I'll sign off again and be back soon. Well, it's uh, 9.49. We're at the Amargosa Opera House, Death Valley Junction. This is the Opera House. There's Claude talking to himself. Anyway, it's uh, 9.49. Made good time. We're at uh, 2,052 elevation. Uh, we're going to go check it out see what they've got here. Talk to you later. Okay, just turned uh, onto 190, which takes us into uh, Death Valley. The visitor center at Furnace Creek which has 30 miles. Just uh, stopped at the uh, Amargosa House, uh, being it's a project in uh, progress. They're restoring it. They have actually have uh, rooms for rent. I guess they're all rented out. No vacancies. That's amazing. Got a little snack. Fielded a few questions about our trikes from people in cars. Anyway, looks like we're going to have to go up a little bit before we start our descent down into the valley. Hopefully it's not too much of a climb. We haven't had much of anything today to speak of. It's been pretty nice. Uh, weather's still pleasant. It's about 60 degrees and it's 10-17, uh, so that's really good. I'm glad we got started in the cool of the day and we'll get to top of this hill before it gets too warm and then we'll be feeling the breezes of speed as we uh, descend uh, the decline down into the valley. We're going to go from uh, probably about 21, 2200 feet down to below sea level in uh, probably a little over 20 miles. Anyway, that's it for right now. I'll come back at you soon. It's 11, 12 uh, a.m. We're at about the uh, 34 mile mark. Climbing uh, 190 uh, to the summit where we drop into Death Valley. We've come up about uh, another 500 feet from Amargosa, uh, uh, the Amargosa home or room or opera, whatever it's called. And a lot of gnats around here. That's weird. Uh, Cloud's doing good. Not that far behind. Stay, keeping pace pretty well. This is a nice gentle climb. I've been pushing about uh, oh, six miles an hour or so all the way up this hill, uh, so it's a pretty gradual climb. We've, uh, we're probably about uh, seven miles into this climb and uh, gained 500 feet, so it's a decent, uh, nice gentle grade. Uh, anyway, the end is in sight where we start going downhill, about on a tree three miles, and we'll check in with you then. Bye. Okay, it's uh, 1215. We're at the 39 mile mark and we have crested the hill and are now descending into Death Valley. Uh, you can see the downhill there. It's about uh, 18 miles uh, to Furnace Creek now and it will, should be pretty much all downhill. If you look over there, you can see an old railroad right away going along that side of that hill there. A lot of history out here. Hopefully, uh, now there, hopefully Cloud will come over the crest of that hill any second now. We can put on our helmets and uh, and bomb on down to uh, Furnace Creek and have some lunch. Good day today. Good day so far. Nice and cool. Okay, it's uh, 3.13. We made it to Furnace Creek. Cloud's here reading the map. He's the, uh, the mapster. Had a great lunch. Met our friend Scott again that we met in Shoshone. Took us over to the uh, Furnace Creek campground and we got a spot. Um, right now we're just sitting in the shade waiting, uh, waiting for it to cool down before we're right over to the campground. So another 57 miles down.